All right, tier lists are back this year. I have did them a little bit in the past, I experimented. This year, we got showzone.gg. They made a tier list builder that actually uses the cards straight from the game. It was super easy to set up. So we're gonna do the live series collections tier list. I'm actually really excited for this. I haven't done a tier list in a while. So Vita Blue, I am going to actually show all the cards in game as well because it's just, it's gonna be easier that way. So let me pull up Vita Blue here in the game. So as we can see, Vita Blue, high stamina. Uh, he doesn't really have too much else. I'm not really, I'm not feeling him too much. I, mean, I, I can't lie. I'm not feeling him too much. We're gonna we're gonna start off with putting Vita Blue in the C tier. He's not terrible. Honestly, we could maybe bump him up to B if he had a, like, you know, his his motion isn't terrible, right? So you could argue B. But when you got pitchers like Tom Seaver, 95 overall, the card is actually very disgusting he's in my current money spent rotation as it is i mean good per nines at 90 but he has that sinker he's got that change up and curve that's super slow great break and all that i think tom siever is an a personally in this early part of the game i think i think he's incredible i think that you can actually have a good time with him next we got 86 overall todd helton todd is uh he's not he's not my favorite i'm not gonna lie first baseman 86 overall the hitting stats aren't too great he's just kind of one of those well-rounded left-handed bats the rockies collection wasn't that good let's be real so he's not gonna be that good todd helton i'm putting him in d not f d then we follow that up with a guy like tim salmon this guy is actually a pretty gross right here uh great contact very very good power as well uh he can field like you know it's not common fielding bronze will be fine in the corners not terrible speed tim salmon i think he is a i'm gonna throw him i'm gonna throw him in a for now i i don't know his swing too well but based on attributes alone he's he's pretty darn good i'm not gonna lie next we got 94 overall stan musial stan is the Cardinals collection, and for a 94 overall, uh, that's pretty darn good for just a singular team. Insane contact, as we expect. Not terrible power. 80 versus right, 95 versus left. Left on left, he's a beast. Silver fielding. Uh, he can play first base and the corner outfield spots. I like Stan swing a lot. I think he's an absolute beast. We're going to put him in the A tier as well. Now, 99 Sammy Sosa. I think we all understand Sammy Sosa, but let me talk about him a little more. For those of you that don't know, here is attributes. Uh, 83 speed is right there as well. Sorry, I hit my mic, but 83 speed. Guys, he his swing is incredible. He, his range, he gets such good jumps in the outfield. He made some crazy plays for me. Sammy Sosa might not only be S tier, but might be the best card in the game. It's debatable. It's actually a debatable. Next, we got Ryan Braun. Uh, as a Cubs fan, Ryan Braun hurts me. It's cool to see him in the game, though. I'm down for anybody to be back in the game. Uh, he's insane in versus left, as you can see right here. Uh, definitely a left-handed pinch hit uh, killer. You know what I mean? Uh, he can play a little bit of defense at first, third in the corner outfield spot, so decent speed. I think Braun is a B card. I think he's the definition. I would put him on my bench. I would. I would, even though I don't like him. But next we got Rob Dibble. Now, Rob Dibble, let's talk about Rob Dibble here, all right? We all know Rob Dibble, his outlier fastball, a slider cutter. He is always one of the meta cards in the game. 88 hits per nine is low, but his K per nine is incredible with a max of velocity outlier. Uh, I think for right now, bullpens are kind of weak. I think bullpens are kind of weak right now. I think Rob Dibble fits very well into any bullpen at the moment as a right-handed starter. I am gonna put Rob Dibble in the B tier. I think I think he makes the team. I think he could get replaced fairly quickly, and I don't think he's on the level of like a Tom Seaver, for example. Next, we got Paul Konerko. Paulie, Paulie Konerko. Uh, Paul Konerko is uh, my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, he's not my favorite. Contact's low, uh, power versus left is the only really good thing about him. I don't think he touches the squad whatsoever. If you need a lefty killer, you're gonna use Ryan Braun. I'm gonna put him down in the D tier with Todd Helton. It's pretty sad, though, because I like Paul Konerko. I can't lie. But next, we got Mike Lowell. Mike Lowell, Mike Lowell, Mike Lowell. New legend. Uh, incredible, incredible, incredible power versus left. It's almost maxed out, man. I'm not going to lie. With that 83 contact, it's kind of passable early in the game. He might be a bench bat. Uh, I don't know his swing, honestly. 
I'm I'm gonna throw him in the C tier, just because that power is so up there. Uh, I do think he's a little bit better than like Paul Knurko, for example. But um, I don't really know too much about him. I can't lie. I I don't really plan on trying. Now, I think we all recognize this card art. 94 overall, Mickey Mantle. Now, Mickey Mantle. We know he's got a swing, switch hitter. Uh, 97, 120 contact, 68 power versus right is rough. I'm not going to lie. The power versus left is very good. He's got speed. He's got a cannon. He's uh, he's okay fielder. He can play third for some reason. Never seen that before. Never seen Mickey uh, play third before. Definitely a bench bat for sure. Definitely a speed guy. He belongs there, especially with a clutch at 87 and is not terrible. I'm going to put Mickey Mantle in the A spot. I think he plays on anybody's team. Uh, and if you have everybody like I do, then he could be definitely be a bench player. Matt Cain, uh, Matt Cain, he, he's not good. He, Matt Cain is not good. Uh, I'm going to pull him up here in the game real quick so you guys can see him. Uh, 85 overall, terrible per nines. He has a sinker. That's about all he's got going for him. I loved watching Matt Cain back in the day because I loved the Giants back when uh, Tim Linscom was still playing and all that. Um, but Matt Kane in this game, I think he's our first F. I, I, I would not sniff him. I'm not going to lie. He is, he's not it. Now, Mark McGuire. Obviously, 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 Mark McGuire is an S tier card. I don't think, I don't think anybody can argue against that. He is incredible. All right. We're going to pull him up here in the game for you real quick so you can see. Uh, 102 101 contact isn't amazing but maxed out power he can play first base third base and right field he he's one of the he's one of the big collections guys every big collection is going to be s tier for sure the one thing i will say about mark mcguire his swing is not amazing i i, I not, maybe i just need to get used to it but he's not my favorite he's, he's not my favorite i'm not gonna lie to you but he is an s tier card now 93 overall mariano rivera he, I think, is a, a top bullpen pitcher in the game right now. Uh, he's definitely got the pitch mix with the cutter and the sinker and the slider. Uh, solid per nines. He's Mariano Rivera, right? And he's a captain card, so he could get some boosts if you want. Um, I don't think that there should be too much debate in this. I think he's an A card. We got quite a lot of A's, and quite a lot of them I think you would expect. But Mariano Rivera, definitely A card. Belongs in your bullpen if you can get him. He's the Yankees collection. So you get Judge, and honestly, you get you get Mariano Rivera. I have a splinter in my toe. Ow. Uh, that, that hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Luis Gonzalez. Luis Gonzalez. Um, typically, he's okay as a pinch hitter versus left. I don't think that is the case in this year's game. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, and I didn't mean versus left. I mean as a lefty. He's got some power versus right. Uh, contact is okay. I wouldn't mind using him in Battle Royale, but as an 86 overall, and honestly, not that great of a card in general, I'm going to throw him down in D tier. He's kind of like a Paul Konerko for me, to be honest with you. But, however, Larry Doby, the Guardians collection, he's a 90 overall. Yeah, I don't know why he got a 90 and everyone else didn't, but uh, Larry Doby, he's a, it's a classic Larry Doby card. Let's be real. Uh, you know, mid 100s contact versus right. 90 versus left you get some a 90 power versus right and typically at low power versus left not the greatest fielder but not bad um he plays all over the outfield i don't think larry doby is it but i don't think he's bad i think he's a b tier card i think he goes there with devil uh you could argue c he could go back and forth here i'm gonna throw him in b though i think he's on ryan Braun's level for sure now this one this one pains me a little bit it's carry wood he's a, he's the cubs captain we all know I'm a big Cubs fan. Uh, eh. He's not bad. Actually, I'm curious. Does he have outlier? He does not have outlier. So he does, he throws hard, but not hard, hard. Her nines are not terrible. He does have the cutter. He, you know, Kerry Wood is, he was okay last year. He was okay last year. This one's a, this one's a tough one for me. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't think he's good. I don't think he's bad. I'll probably put him on the level with Vita Blue. Um, I think he is a C tier card, unfortunately. But that C the C tier is not gonna continue. I'm not gonna lie. Ken Griffey Jr. Mariners collection 89 overall. Uh it's Griffey swing. I don't care what the attributes say. It's Griffey swing. Also, he's good versus right. He's a good fielder. He's got speed. I have him on my bench currently. 
I do. I, I It's Ken Griffey Jr. That swing is butter. All right. I'm putting Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, this is controversial. I don't think he's on the level of Mo and Mickey and all that. Ken Griffey Jr. is a B. That pains me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I, I think I think that's where he belongs. That 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 sucks. I'm not gonna lie. But we'll move on. We'll move on. JR Richard. 92 overall. Great stamina. Her nines are eh. He only throws a slider and then three fastballs, basically. The four seam does have outlier. So he does throw 103. But he's JR Richard. I don't think he's that good. He's never really been that good. He does have the outlier. He does have the slider. Okay, per nines, but call me controversial here. Uh, I'm putting him as a C tier pitcher. I think I might use Kerry Wood before him. That's that's saying something because Kerry Wood is not all that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Next, we got John Smoltz, 92 overall. He is the Braves Live Series captain. He's he's a John Smoltz card. <laughs> He, he's a John Smoltz card. Never great per nines. Never great stuff. Uh, it's just he's 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 not it for me. I'm not gonna lie to you, John Smoltz. Um, I'm gonna put him in C tier too, man. He's just middle of the pack. He really is. But next we got Johnny Damon. I'm gonna pull him up here in the game for you guys. As soon as I can find him, there's a lot of 87s. This is the Red Sox captain. Um. He's a Johnny Damon card. Like a, a, a lot of these cards, you can kind of expect what they're gonna be. Um, he's definitely not a good card. He, he's not it. Yeah, he's got a D tier. I would not touch him. It sucks that Matt Kane's the only F tier right now, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that changes. Joe Nathan. Joe Nathan. Joe Nathan. Now, relief pitchers are tough because bullpens are not the greatest right now. Unless you do some grinding, and you get some of those WBC cards, and even so, you get Devin Williams. It's kind of, it's kind of it off the top of my head. Joe Nathan, um, he's always got good per nines, man. His pitch makes, he's got five pitches, including the cutter. I wish he had the sinker on this card, but he does not. Uh, he's in my bullpen though. He's in my bullpen though. I think Joe Nathan is a B tier card. Not quite on the level of Mo, but definitely not bad. Now we got 92 Joe Mauer. Joe Mauer. He's got a good swing. We all know it. We all know it. We all know I love him. We don't love when he doesn't have power. 72 versus right is maybe passable, but 42 versus the left is just not good. Um, he doesn't have a secondary position. It's only catcher. He does have gold fielding. This is definitely a younger Joe Maurer, I would say, but he's missing a lot of the power, man, and that's really unfortunate. Catchers, there are a lot of catcher secondaries in this game. All the Negro League players. Uh, Gil Golau from Chinese Taipei. A lot of the Japanese players can play catcher too. Uh, Joe Maurer just doesn't fit, man. I'm going to put Joe Maurer as a C tier card, and that is an AL Central collection. He, he, he's a bigger collection, and he's a C tier card. It's just, it's unfortunate, man. But now we got Jim Palmer. Uh, we all know every Jim Palmer card that's ever come into existence has always been <laughs> not the greatest. Let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade here. Um, it's the same case here. If you can get used to his arm motion, uh, he's, he's cake. He's absolute cake. Jim Palmer, D tier for sure. The sinker keeps him out of F. Now, we got Jake Peavy. Brand new legend. Jake Peavy is funky. Jake Peavy is very funky. Uh, okay, per nines, they're passable at 87. He does have the sinker, he does have the cutter, the slider, the change up. Uh, he, he, and apparently his motion's pretty funky. I'm not gonna lie. He's in my rotation right now. Uh, and I like him. I'm gonna make him an A tier card. I am. I, I think he belongs in the A tier. And speaking of A tier, we got Ian Kinsler, another new legend back in the game this year. Kinsler has always been fun. The per nine, or not the per nines, but the hitting stats, you're going to look at them and be like, ew. Except for the power versus left. That's kind of nice. But diamond defense, 82 speed. He's Ian Kinsler and he's got a great swing. Whether you know it or not, he was a legend back in MLB The Show 17 um, and 16. I like Ian Kinsler as an A-tier card. He is my starting second baseman right now. Now, once I get Mookie Betts, um, that'll probably change. But uh, for now, Ian Kinsler, A-tier. Next, so we got 93 Honus Wagner, the NL Central Collection Reward. 
he, he's a honest wagner card that's 81 speed because you guys can't see it he plays everywhere uh decent fielding uh his speed is definitely an older card he's a veteran right great contact low power uh honus is not really it in my opinion um but he's not terrible so i'm, I'm gonna throw him in like the b tier he's, he's kind of with the mid guys but it's, it's just unfortunate because he's a mid guy but he's a, an entire division collection reward that's just not good it, you, you can't have that you you really just can't have that honestly uh but this one's a solid one hank aaron 97 overall a or nl east collection 97 125 95 105 the hitting stats are great if you love his swing hank aaron is an incredible option uh when you are doing the live series collection so you get the mike trouts the the judges uh the sosas if you got there you know what i'm saying um aaron Ju or hank aaron is not on my team right now but now looking at his attributes i kind of want to try him i'm gonna throw him in the a tier as well he's definitely a good option now who's not a good option is a uh, tigers captain al newhauser uh, hal is just not it in every single game we've ever had honestly uh he had a 99 once that was okay i guess but um Hal's just not it man i i don't like Hal whatsoever i would I, I would throw him on the same level as matt kane honestly i think Hal newhauser is an f card i really do but uh it's another left-handed pitcher good segue right here um i might throw him in my rotation we got fernando valenzuela 93 overall dodgers collection or is he the uh, nl west collection i think it's the nl west collection actually not the dodgers uh but fernando valenzuela uh his per nines are okay right they're solid but it's that it's that speed discrepancy between the fastball the screwball the change up it's just it, it, he's always been tough he's he's always been tough uh i don't think he's on the level of a tier pitchers just because of pitch mix when it comes to pv um and siever is just another level when it comes to pitchers i think valenzuela belongs in like high b i'm not putting these in order but if i were he's there <laughs> you know what i mean uh he's just not it but yeah he's the he's the nl west in the nl or the dodgers captain we got duke snyder shocker it's always duke snyder when it comes to the dodgers great versus right meh versus left okay fielder okay speed he, he's duke snyder is duke snyder you know what i mean i do think i would rather use griffey than him off the bench personally but he does have better attributes than griffey i think he's high b he's high b i'm not gonna move him over but he's high b now i mean we already know right the live series collection is gonna be an s tier card let's talk about Derek Jeter for a sec because not only is he amazing that's 91 speed by the way at parallel one I already got him parallel he's gonna max out on fielding got a maxed arm his power is gonna get up to like 94 maxed out contact uh, he is he is amazing 125 clutch you get a runner in scoring position he's hitting him in basically Derek Jeter is incredible and his swing is butter his swing's incredible it's so good if you can get this card live series collections are cheaper than ever this year I think they're like 1.6 million which is you know it's still a lot of subs but it's way cheaper than ever before especially in early access if you can get Derek Jeter you get him he is the best card in the game it's him or Sosa until we get to the set one collections but we'll get there another time all right those those cards are not uploaded in the database right now because no one's discovered them yet as uh as we should all expect next we got 90 overall Cliff Lee Cliff Lee is always okay Here's the thing about Cliff Lee is the hits per nine is always super low, but he's got a great pitch mix. Sinker cutter. You already know how it is with Cliff Lee. Uh, he's not my favorite, though, when it comes to that that per nines. And we have better options in the rotation, especially with what we can grind with the WBC and all that. Cliff Lee, I'm, I'm not going to put him on the same level as Vita Blue and Kerry Wood, but he's going to be a B tier. He's going to be a B tier. I don't think he's that great. Speaking of not that great, Cubs legend uh, Carlos Pena. Carlos Pena. He's got a lot of power, not a lot of contact. Uh, okay, fielder, left-handed hitter. Honestly, could be a DH for you if you need him to, but he's not amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, the, 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 the fact that he's really like even across the board when it comes to hitting uh, in terms of the versus sides, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to put uh, Carlos Pena as a B tier player. He's B. He, he's, a, he's a good player. He's not a great player. And then we, we continue talking about first baseman from the collections. We got Carlos Delgado. Uh, insane versus right. Definitely a pinch hitter at, uh, aspect. Not as quite as good a swing as Griffey. Um, but he's really good versus right. He could be a pinch hitter for you. 
Uh, in my opinion, though, I, I I would probably put him on the same level as Pena. I would. He, he's not that great. Billy Wagner. Staple in the bullpen right now. Billy Wagner is a 96 overall left-handed pitcher that throws absolute gas with good per nines. You, you already know what it is about Billy Wagner. I want to put him in S, but I feel like that has to be for collection rewards. But he is that. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's, he's high A for sure. He is definitely very, very high A. Now we got Andre Dawson. We're coming down to it here. We are coming down to it. Let's let's talk about Andre Dawson for a sec. Once I get him pulled up here on the game. Andre Dawson, center fielder. Um it's just hit it. Is that his hitting attributes are just not there. You can parallel him if you want, and you can get diamond defense out there, but uh Andre Dawson's not it. I am gonna throw Andre Dawson in the C tier. Now we got uh, the Royals, Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon, new legend. He's back. He had a great swing, honestly, in uh, the previous MLB The Shows, but he's just, he's not that guy. He got a high power card, and that's why I liked him a lot. I'll be real. But uh, good contact versus right, a great defense. He can play all over the field, but that's about it. Alex Gordon, not really that dude. Um, I don't value defense as highly as hitting attributes, so I'm actually going to throw him in the D tier. But uh, he could he could potentially be C if you really, really like him. And then last but not least, we got Pirates captain A.J. Burnett. A.J. Burnett's always an interesting case. Low per nines, but he does have a great pitch mix. Yeah, he's got everything. He, he's really got everything. It's just the per nines are not it. A.J. Burnett is a C pitcher. Not better. Not really worse. Um, you can get away with him, but eh, not the best. But this is going to be the final tier list. Obviously, the collection is going to be the S. But let me know what you guys think, man. Did I uh, did I misjudge anybody? Do you think I rated someone too high, too low? I'd love to hear about it. We're going to be posting a lot of tier list content on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoy that content. And like the video. It helps out a ton. But guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.